Hello everyone, welcome to Anjali Acha. This is Dr. Kalyan Chandra, Assistant Professor, Center for Research in Postgraduate Studies and Mathematics, Ayyanada Janaji Malkali, Sivadas. In this video, we are going to see the basic concepts of real analysis in detail. That is, what is metric and what is open ball, open set, closed ball, closed set, as well as uh, limit point and uh, dense set in details. Okay. Shall we move on to the PPT? Yeah. Here, I would like to explain what is the outline of this uh, video. This video tells what is metric and why metric and metric on real set and basic terminologies in detail. Now the question arises, why metric? Metric is a measurement. Okay? In the day to day life, you all uh, hear about this word metric and also we, we also hear the word distance. That is distance between many two points. For example, now I am in Sivakasi. I would like to go to some place where the mother or mother. So I would like to know what is the distance between Sivakasi and Madurai. For example, the distance may be 80 kilometers. So I would like to say the distance between Sivakasi and uh, Madurai is 80 kilometers. So the distance uh, plays a vital role in our day-to-day -day life. Using this distance, I will make this distance as a function and going to define a metric space. So metric is a function and that gives a distance between each pair of elements of a set. We all know, undergone this one and across with this from 2019. Yeah, this is corona situation. And at that time, we always advised to follow social distance. It has at least a six feet distance. Remember, and this is the distance concept in that time. Okay. And with the help of God as well as medical practitioners, and we have undergone this one and recovered from this corona now. And with this distance, I'm going to define metric space. So what is metric? For that, I have taken a set M and a function D. That D is a mapping from M cross M to R. Because I already told that distance is a number. For that, we have taken R to the minus real numbers. Satisfying four conditions. The first one is non-negativity. And the second one is identity of distance. And the third one is symmetry, and the fourth one is subadditivity or triangle inequality. Non negativity means the distance between any two points is either greater than zero or equal to zero. And the distance between the same elements is zero, that one is second. And the third one is the distance between x and y equal to distance between y units. For example, I already mentioned that the, the distance between Sivakasi and Madurai is, for example, 80 kilometers. The distance between Madurai and Sivakasi also 80 kilometers. We won't say the distance between Madurai to Sivakasi is minus 80 kilometers. So, symmetry means the distance between X and Y is equal to distance between Y universe. And the last one is triangle inequality. That is, triangle inequality plays a vital role in this section of the analysis. That is, D of x comma z plus one are equal to d of x comma y plus d of y comma z. Now the question arises: What a metric window? And I'll consider the set S with four elements. What a metric will do on these four elements set? Can you imagine? Okay, imagine that. Before that, we will define the concept of metric. That is the distance between any two points is summation i equal to m to x i y a, where x i are the coordinates of s and y are the coordinates of y, m coordinates. This may, this function b uh, is a mapping from r power m cross r power into r, and the metric defined as b of x comma y equal to summation modulus x i minus y, and we can verify this is a metric, and this metric is called the axis of metric. And in the setup of real numbers, we can take a distance between many two points as d of x comma y equal to absolute value of x minus y. That is modulus of x minus y. This is called the usual metric or absolute value metric on R. Okay. In R, we have defined usual metric like this. Similarly, we can define in C also d of z comma w equal to z minus w 
here this is one bubble of complex number. And in the plane R curve, which is the usual metric D2, is defined as D2 of x1, y1, and the S2 of y2 is equal to square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. This is distance between the new two points in the two dimensional space. This is nothing but Euclidean uh, distance. We all know in the higher section level also. And the plane R square with the task of metric D1 is here I have mentioned the distance as D1. You can name the only one D1, D2, 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 like as I wish. D1 of x1, y1, x2, y2 equal to modulus of x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus In R, this is a metric, and then R, this is a metric. We have add these two. This is also a metric. This is a tax cap metric in R square. And the supremum metric is defined as maximum of modulus x1 minus x2 from r y1 minus y2. So this one also is a metric, and this metric is called supremum metric. Okay, I have defined a metric concept, but for uh, continuous functions and bounded functions of uh, collections, we have defined the metric. That is, we have 0, 1 with a set of bounded functions on the integral closed into 0, 1. Here, we are going to define a metric that is d infinity of comma g, that is supremum metric. This is nothing but means to upper bound of f of x minus g of x, absolute value. And here, x belongs to closed to 0, 1. This is a collection. So, set of all bounded functions defined on the interval that I have defined a metric with the least upper bound and the modulus of f of x minus g of x. This d infinity satisfies the requirements of a metric and this metric uh, is a supremum metric. See here, this is a graph of here and this is a graph of g and this is the distance between f and g according to this two metric. Although, uh, here C of 0, 1 with a set of continuous functions on the interval 0, 1. Here I have defined the bounded functions. Here I have defined continuous functions. One thing to remember, guys, in functional analysis, the concept of boundedness and the continuous are both are considered as the same space. But in real analysis, they become more different. So here I have taken continuous functions and uh, I have defined metric as if you have D1 and D1 of F, G as here F, G are elements of C of 0, 1. And this is equal to 0, 1 modulus of f of x minus f of x. That is area. This is mean area. See here, this is graph of f and the graph of g. This is the shaded portion mentioned in area. The area is the metric. And this one also satisfies the requirements of a metric. Therefore, this is also metric. Yeah. In the first section, we learn what's metric and learn some kind of examples. Now we are going to do metric on a set of real numbers. In a real line, always using usual metric. I already told what is usual metric absolute value of x minus y for any two points x and y in R. The most considerable metric spaces are with usual metric in the real analysis. Now, what is the impact of usual metric on real numbers? The question arises: can we see what is the impact of this? Okay, I have taken a rational number collection or a rational number. It's a single rational number or rational number. Then the neighboring point say, I'm not like you because I'll take a rational number. The neighboring point may be a rational or irrational. I'll take a rational number. The neighboring point may be a rational or rational. But in this case, not arises in the real numbers because I'll take a real number. The neighboring point is also a real number. So this is the best beauty of this usual metric. Okay, now let us move on to the basic terminologies of real analysis as well as metric space. The first basic terminology is open bar or open bar. First, I'm going to define open bar. With the use of open bar, we are going to define open bar. So for the open bar, we have two things we need. One thing is a metric space, and another thing is a set. That is, A is a subset of M, okay? And I'll take an open ball inside A, or otherwise you can take in the metric self. M comma with the metric space, I'll take an element A in M, and R, R the positive real number. I would like to uh, define B of A comma. B stands for ball. Ball with the center A and the radius R is denoted by the collection of all elements X in M, such that the distance between A and X less than C, A is the center. 
uh, in uh, in the state and uh, i would like to measure the distance between in the and yes that is less than r means i will put the x into this function that what relation b of a comma so b of a comma is collection of all elements in m satisfying the property b of a comma x less than r the same thing is used to for open set that is i will take a set a that a is the set a is to be open open i'll take an element x belongs to a i'll find out the open ball or neighbor of open ball b of x comma r that is center x and the radius r which is properly contained in a okay now we have question arise whether it is true for a single x or for every x no doubt guys for every x in a i'll take for every element of a we have to identify an open ball inside that set b then only the set a is such a yeah? open now in the metric space the, the one thing is easily verified that is every open ball is an open set so in ask the open ball which is center a and the radius r is looks like a circle that is interior of a circle okay now the boundary and this is a as a center r is a radius and this is the circle of open sphere in the two dimensional equilibrium space and Uh, kindly remember one thing, guys. In the open ball or open sphere, the boundary points are always not in order. Here are some of the examples of open sets. In a discrete metric space, every open set is open. Guys, I forget to define discrete metric space. Now let us see what is discrete metric space. Again, M B M metric space, and I would like to take the distance between any two points is either zero or one. That is, the points are same, the distance is zero. If the points are different, the distance is one. So the distance between any two points is there are two categories. One is zero, or either one. So in this metric, this metric is called a discrete metric. Okay. So in this metric, every subset is open, and in R with initial metric, every open balls are open sets. And in a metric space, empty set and the whole set are always open, and the arbitrary union of open sets is open, and finite intersection of open sets is open. And remember that arbitrary intersection of open sets will not be open. These are the some characterizations of uh, open sets. Combining the characterization, that is, empty set and the whole set are always open. Arbitrary union of open sets is open. Finite intersection of open sets is open. Combining these three properties and make a collection, and that collection is known as topology. It is a wide branch of uh, Uh, real analysis and it is really useful for researchers in this paper. Okay. And next, uh, move on to the boundary. I'll I'll take a matrix space M D and uh, I'll take a subset A of M. I would like to mention what is uh, uh, bounded. That is A is bounded. That means I would like to find out the real number K such that distance between any two points less than or equal to that real number means that such is bounded. Remember that any finite set is bounded and the any intervals are bounded. That is either open interval or closed interval or half open intervals so in the form of a comma b. Okay, those are bounded. And I would like to inform one thing: this kind of interval, that is a comma, that is ray. These kind of intervals are called waves. A comma infinity minus infinity comma b. These are intervals are not bounded because this is here the point is infinity term. Here the finite points are term. Okay. The set of all integers and the set of all rationals are not bounded. We know that the integers is an infinite set. Okay, so they are not bounded. And uh, interior of a set. First, we have different metric, and then what is open ball and what is open set. Here, with the use of open ball and open set, I would like to define the uh, interior of a set. The same M D B M metric space. A is the subset of M, and I have taken an element X is belongs to A. X is such a an interior point. Then I would like to identify an open ball inside it. Okay, so if B X R is contained in A, then this point X is called an interior point. If B X R is not contained in A, this X is not an interior point. So the set of all interior points of E called an interior of a set, and it is denoted by I N T R. See here, I have two spaces. This is M. And I'll take a uh, point yes, but I would uh, I forgot to draw in any open ball here. So this X is not an interior point, but this is a point, but not an interior point. See here, I have taken a point, and but I draw I draw an open ball containing this point. Therefore, this point yes is an interior point. Now 
uh, there is some uh, theorems related to this interior of a set. Okay, we already defined open set. The open set means we take any elements, we draw an open ball inside that set. Interior of point means it, that point B, BXR is contained in A, A means that X is an element of NTA. Therefore, concluding this to the get the result A is open, you can only see NTA equal to A. And NTA is the union of all open sets contained in A. This is the largest two open set. And whenever A contained in B, NTA is contained in NTB. And the interior of A intersection B equal to NTA intersection NTB. And interior of A union B, which contains NTA union NTB. Guys, here equality E not force. Now we are moving into closed ball and closed. Okay, I would like to define a set is to be closed. It's a simple uh, concept only. The complement of an open set is closed. And uh, closed ball looks like open ball, but there I have defined the idea of open Ryakamar. Here closed Ryakamar. This is a notation only. But uh, this is the collection of a set. Is the distance between A and X less than or equal to R. See, in the open ball, this is less than R. That is interior point less than R and here boundary ball is also included. Here also every closed ball is a closed set and as well as every open ball is a closed open set. And some useful examples as well as results here that is in a discrete matrix space every subset is closed. We already shown that in a discrete matrix space every subset is open. So combining these two in a discrete matrix space every subset is both open and closed. In our diffusion metric, the intervals of the form closed will A comma B are closed to set. And here also empty set and whole set are closed. Finite union of closed sets is called the controversy set. Like the open sets, arbitrary union of open sets is open. Here finite union of closed sets is closed. And the arbitrary intersection of closed sets is closed. Note guys, arbitrary union of closed sets will not be closed. For this, we can consider the collection of single terms which are rational. So this is an example for this one. Okay, we have defined a closed the ball as well as closed set. Now we are going to define closure of a set because we have defined open ball, open set as well as interior. And here we are going to define closure. And the closure of a set is defined with the intersection of all closed sets which contain A. In A is the union of all open sets which contain A. Contained in A. Here it's contained. So this is the permanent definition of closure of a set. And the summer theorem. Whenever A is open, if and only in A equal to A. And A is closed if and only A is the closure of B. And A is a subset of B, then closure of A is a subset of closure of B. And the closure of A union B equal to closure of A union closure of B. And closure of A in the section B is contained in closure of A in the section closure of B. Here, equality in the poles. Next, we are moving into the concept of limit point. Uh, M, again, M is a metric space. A is a subset of M. Here I have taken the point X in M, not in B. So for that, indirectly we can set an element is set in the limit point that element may or may not be a member of a set. That, that element is compulsory a member of M, but it may or may not be a member of a subset. So X is called a limit point or cluster point or another name for the limit point is accumulation point. If every ball with the center X, that is BXR, contains at least one point of A, Difference from X. That is BXR intersection A minus X. I take BXR, that is, is an open ball with the center X and the radius R, and A minus X. I take in the set A and exclude the point X. Yes, I will find out the intersection between these two and this intersection not equal to M3. That means that points is called a limit point. The set of limit points of the set is called a derived set of A and is denoted by the symbol B of A. Guys, there is a relationship between uh, closure limit points and the set. That is A closure equal to A union B of B. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Now I already told A limit point will not be a member of a set. But every open neighborhood of those six. Please see here. See the figure. Not a limit point. Because we are taking outside the space is not a limit point. Inside the space. And finally we are going to defend density set. This subset the F metric space is said to be dense. I'm going to define dense as the in terms of closure. That is A closure equal to M. I'll take a subset and make it a closure. That closure uh, equal to M means that senses uh, that suggests dense. Okay. I already told A closure equal to A union B of A. 
are merging the set with the limits find the whole space is obtained obviously so we can the set and with its limit finds that we will get the whole space so in this video we have learned a concept of metric open sets open bar closed sets closed bar the interrelation between open set and closed set and the open bar and closed bar and the interior of the closure of the as well as limit find and the find will be dense and the relation between closure and the dr that is a closure equal to a union dr that is split and a derived set this is the relation connecting closure and the limit finds i think uh, this video will be helpful to the learners those who are interested in real analysis the basic concepts of real analysis the remaining theorems and the examples we will see in the next video before that shall we have that to be mentioned thank you